I'm Mike Kennedy. I thought I would show you an aspect of backwards compatibility. Since I mentioned it with the Canon EOS 650 video, the lack of it. So here's par partial backwards compatibility. Nikon uh, DSLR D5000. It's got an image stabilization lens on it, autofocus. You can see all the pins. Here we have a lens from a film camera, and it's not even an autofocus lens, it's a manual lens. And this is all I happen to have, but we'll put that on, and you can see it mates to the camera. You do have to use it in all manual because it doesn't have these electrical contacts, so it can't communicate between the electronics of the computer and the electronics of the lens. With earlier ones it's all done with a mechanical linkage okay you can see there's a pin here and things so it was all done mechanically but the idea here the idea here is that you can still use this in an all manual mode that means you have to pick your aperture that's uh this ring, it's kind of hard to see, but there we go. You can see that ring that turns. And you would focus it too. And uh, why this is kind of important is uh, because of the cost of lenses. Now, you can imagine they made a 50 F1 lens for the Nikon. I think that lens still goes for like $500. And being all manual wouldn't be that much of a problem because a lens like that you would tend to be having it on one aperture wide open and the manual focusing you could do easily because of the, the uh, lens gathers a lot of light it would be easy to see so uh, this was one reason why uh, the Nikons uh, continue to be so popular with pros because they offered this backwards compatibility now, like I'm saying, this is only partially backward compatible, but if I had a, which I don't happen to have, but if I had an autofocus film lens, it would probably fit on here, and then it would still do the, uh, work the apertures and different things like that, and do the focus. But, of course, now we've gone from a lens, I mean, it did, this did have a, uh, automatic aperture so that when you put it on a camera it would if you didn't pick the aperture it would set it for you so it did have automatic exposure okay but now we look at a lens like this you know it's a short zoom 18 to 55 and we've got added not only do we have the autofocus added but we have the VR which is basically uh, stabilization, image stabilization. So if you move the camera, you know, your normal amount of handshake, this just takes it out, which is, is a big deal. So even though this lens is slower, in other words, it's a 3.5 lens as opposed to f2 lens, this you're still going to be able to use at a slower shutter speed than you might be able to use this because it's going to stabilize the image. So that was a big improvement with the digital cameras. But, so now you know what uh, backward compatibility can be. It can allow me to use this lens on the, uh, the film lens, on the uh, digital camera for sp some specific uses that I would definitely use it for.